We're here at TI at CES 2012. And who are you? I'm Mike Blaskovich. I'm the OMAMP 5 product marketing manager. And uh, we're here today showing the OMAMP 5 product for the first time to uh, to, to a few analysts and uh, and to some of our key customers. We're very excited. We have the silicon. It is working extremely well. We've got ice cream sandwich running on it. We've run uh, 1080p60 video on it, multiple screens. The device supports four cameras, four displays. It's a phenomenal product that's going to be coming out in the future in, product, in cell phone products. and and tablets and all sorts of other applications. So it's not just taped out, it's actually in a development kit that's kind of like a full kind of device thing. Yes, we, we have it running here at, at, at CES actually in our development platform. We're not showing it yet, but uh, we're not sh we're not publicly showing it yet, but it is, it is available and running and our developers are working with it and we've sampled customers. So it's the successor to the, what you call this big, uh, for the OMAP 4, there was there was this big uh, development uh, uh, like this one. Yes, so it's, a it's a successor to the Blaze platform, start. which was done yeah. for OMAP 4 and uh, the OMAP 5. As you as you'll find, it's more of a pocketable format that also supports a docking station. It's a very uh, exciting development platform. What kind of uh, connectors and features does it's it do? It's got USB 3 <laughs> embedded display port. It's got. Uh, HDMI, it's got uh, multiple other USB ports, it's a it's very, very, uh, very flexible development system, Ethernet, so all the debug features, everything is there. So the, the performance of Momo 5 is gigantic, right? It's gigantic. So, so what kind of leap is going on now? Uh, to give a basic scale of things, uh, uh, we've gone to uh, it's a dual core graphics as opposed to single core. It's the uh, Cortex A15s instead of the Cortex A9s. Um, so dual, two cores of A15s with a two megabyte L2 cache. Uh, so all of that, you know, close memory gives a tremendous performance boost. And in our early uh, tests of performance, we're seeing that the uh, the OMAP 5 running at about half the frequency of OMAP 4 has equivalent performance. So it's a phenomenal increase. So what are we going to get? Like 10x in one year? Or what's, <laughs> what's going on? Um, the the target for the for the subsystem for the MPU, so the ARM cores, is to get us about 2x, and on the graphics it's up to 5x. So it's a, it's a tremendous leap in performance when we have OMAP 5 products. But 2x at the same frequency, right? Or not? Um, no, 2x total. Will be total, the, yeah. Will be the total. And what are the uses? Is it going to be only super high-end devices, or could it be like all the way down to e-ink readers and how, uh, how, how low does it go? Well, what it, what is what is low? I mean, OMAP 5 will be available for all sorts of products, including uh, e-readers, including uh, you know the highest end smartphones or, or you know uh, other products. All right. So, how soon can we buy a smartphone, a Galaxy Nexus 2, with the OMAP 5? <laughs> So we, we expect to see uh, products based on OMAP 5 in the market by uh, early 2013. Early 2013, not end 2012? Um, if we can accelerate a customer to the end of 2012, we would love to. How do you accelerate? What, what needs to be done to accelerate developments in this industry? What usually happens? That's not good. Okay. It's like, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, it's just high, bigger investments, well, okay. or is it okay, uh, me, being lucky? This. Or yeah, uh, our customers have their own development timelines. Like a cell phone has to go through certification testing, so we'll do everything we can to make sure that that can be supported on an early time frame. So, uh, you know, I, I honestly, by the time we get products on the market, we'll, we'll probably be early 13. Are you going to be the first with ARM Cortex A15 on the market? Um, we hope to. Yes. All right. Looking forward to uh, seeing the device in action, uh, published on video. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. <laughs>